Hi and welcome to another Freelance Fridge video tutorial. In this particular tutorial we've finished our Shark Guy in 3D in ZBrush. He's all detailed out. He looks great. And I just wanted to kind of cover just some final little tidbits and touches as you're preparing uh, to export this character for 3D print. You can see from the sketch he's got flat feet here but then in my file he's got these very rounded bottoms to his boots and I did that on purpose because when I finish out a character I want to use a feature to flatten those so that they're exactly even with each other and it'll also do that to the tail a little bit as well just to give it a nice solid um, bottom to stand on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to merge all of these items together into one piece. And the best thing to do to start is to make sure to look here and see if you have any hidden objects you're not actually using. Like this one here was a part of the shoulder, I believe on this arm. But I'm not actually using that anymore. So I want to get rid of that. And it's just as simple as clicking on it and deleting it. So you want to just kind of scroll through and make sure that you don't have any hidden objects that you're not using. And then it's just a matter of going to the very top of your tool set here, subtools, and starting to merge all the objects together. And you can always click Always OK. That way that dialog box doesn't keep coming up on you. And depending on uh, the speed of your computer, when you're merging these objects, as you get further down in the list, it might take a few minutes to actually merge all of them. So just bear with me here if it gets a little slow at a point in time. And then once you've merged all the objects and you just have one object here in Subtool, then we're going to work on flattening those feet to give them a solid foundation to stand on. So the easiest way to do that is you want to kind of line up your image so you can kind of see the, the feet, kind of get a notion I like a kind of a low angle as I'm kind of doing this. And then go to deformation and you're just going to use flatten here. And you're just going to make sure you're doing it on the up and down Y axis. And then it's just a matter of clicking and dragging the right way, the right direction. And doing it to a spot in time that looks right to you. Now that looks pretty good. I think my tail's getting cut off a little more than I'd like though. So I'll go back to my original file and I'll move my tail up and then merge it again. And I won't save that. And this happens sometimes. You want to make sure that it's not cutting off too much of what you're looking for. So I'll just reopen that file and I'll just move that bottom of that tail a little bit. and then we should be good to go. And what you can actually do to make sure that you're not cutting off too much before you merge it is, let me get rid of that extra shape that we saw earlier. 
um, you can actually insert a plane and it's probably inside its body at the moment so let me click on that plane um, and I'm going to rotate it Size it, move it, and we're just going to kind of lay this down where I'm intending to cut off the bottom of the feet, more or less. That way. I can more easily decide where where to move that tail up to. So you can kind of see here, okay, there's a lot of that tail I need to move up. So I'm just going to use my move tool here. Scale it up a lot. And I'm going to make it look more like it. that bottom of that tail is kind of dragging on the ground. And the tricky part with planes is they only show on one side of the plane. So you kind of have to move your angle so you can see see what you're doing here. And I actually uh, I kind of like that better. Because it's almost like more real, more real of of how he would drag that tail along when he's out of the water. Let's see. I want to keep a little bit of it underneath, just because I want to have a nice solid flat surface on the bottom of that for uh, for it to sit on. So I'm going to leave a little bit of it underneath of the plane. But I think that looks pretty good. You can see that was a pretty easy quick fix. Just go in here and kind of make sure the shape of the tail has, hasn't uh, been affected too much. I think this will actually work to our advantage because it'll give it even a larger surface area where it sits on the table. All right, I feel pretty good about that. I know I say that in every video and then I keep tweaking it. <laughs> All right. Looks good.
feels like there's weight there. Feels like it's flopped down right there. I like it. All right. So I am going to click on the plane here, delete that because we don't need that anymore. And then I'm just going to save this since I edited the tail a little bit. Always good to save copies of your file just in case you need to go back. And then once it saves, we can go through this process again and flatten the bottom of his feet and we'll be good to go. All right. So again, go to the top. We already deleted that um, hidden object that we weren't using. So it's just a matter of merging all of these down together. There we go. They're all together. And now we can make that final flattening of the bottom of the feet to just finish off our figure here. All right, so that again is under deformation and then just flatten. And again, make sure you're on the Y axis. And then just pull it up. Till it's kind of at the point that you like it. Let's see. I think negative eight is going to be enough. Perfect. So you can see it kind of flattened the edge, bottom of that tail, and obviously got our feet to the same kind of flat look here as the drawing. And that's going to give them a real solid surface there to stand on. Now another thing to keep in mind is weight distribution, because he could, even with flat feet, he could still fall over if you haven't distributed the weight properly. But I'll cover that in another tutorial. So now all I'm going to do is kind of just use my smooth tool just ever so slightly to smooth out the edge where the surface meets the model, like the flat surface on the bottom meets the model. Not quite as important on the feet as it was for the tail. You can see him being a, a little less liberal with the feet. I'm not doing it quite as much. But the tail, I didn't want it to look like a really hard edge. See, it's a little more soft there. All right, and that is it. You've got your model ready to go. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll cover how to cut holes in the bottom of the feet, um, if that's something you want to do with your model. And, um, and then I'll cover things like exporting for 3D and rendering. But at this point, we can call this guy done. Thanks for watching.